Hello and welcome to the next video in the Garden Room Build mini-series. In this video I will install the roof. I'm using 125mm joists and I start by placing one joist at each end and attach a string line. I can then butt each subsequent joist up to this line to ensure the front is perfectly straight. I generally use 600mm spacing, however I did adjust this slightly in some places to allow the OSB boards to have support under each join and it meant I could avoid making cuts and minimise wastage. I use truss clips on both ends of each joist to fix them to the top plate of the wall frames and again I use twist nails in each hole. I also fix off cuts of OSB around the faces of the joists to give some support and something to fix the UPVC faces too. Just like the last build, I'm using EPDM rubber roof. It's excellent value and is a near 50 year life expectancy. You can see in more detail run through on how to install the rubber roof in my other garden room series. I've also now completed the house wrap and started to cut out the openings for the shed door. So the soffits and fascias are all installed. This is the white trim and I've also installed the trim which comes with the rubber roof, which is the black trim. And here along the front, we have a gutter drip. For the shed side of the garden room, I've made a Z frame door, which I temporarily cover with more membrane for now, just to keep the weather out. When I come to clad the building, I'm also going to clad this door and apart from the trim around the frame, it will almost have an invisible look to the door as it will blend in with the rest of the cladding of the building. So quite a short video this time, but just wanted to give you guys an update on how the building is going. In the next video we'll start working on the cladding and installing the doors and windows um, but for now um, this is uh, the end of the first kind of week that I've been doing the build and I'll be coming back to the property to, to finish off the rest of the time. So the main thing was to get everything nice and watertight. So thanks for watching, thanks for liking, subscribing and we'll see you in the next one.